Hey guys, it's Rhea Clearly Homemade here. I'm starting five minutes early just so I can get, you know, a little bit more clay kneaded up and I can share my videos or my video, I should say. So let me share this too. Okay, we're going to send it to there. I think that's it. And then we're going to hmm, start a watch party. See if I can get some people. Um, you know what? I don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. Starting a little early. Um, I'm doing this so I can watch comments. So I keep it on my phone. There we go. I like to do it a little early so I can get the camera set up and, and stuff like that. And then you can hear my husband in the background with the child. By the way. I'm gonna wait until everybody gets here first because there's nobody here. And that's fine. Just I'm not sure how much clay I'm gonna need. I have never done this before. Let's see if I can share this to see like inception type stuff. Let me share. Okay, I'm gonna send it. So that one, that one, that one, that one. It sounds to everybody. Why not? Right, right. Bruce is apparently under the impression. Okay. I'm actually sending personal invitations to watch this. Y'all get to see my phone. I don't know who else would want to watch this. I'm just sending it to random people I feel may be interested. There we go. I sent it in Messenger to make it easier. Okay. Bring this up here. Great. Okay. Okay, there we go. Somebody's watching. I bet you it's me who's watching. Ah! Probably. Well, now we got three minutes. There is a serious delay on my phone. Let's see if I can get that delay up. And then close this out. Try it again. And I do the delay. Or I do it on the phone. So I could um, watch the comments as they happen because I'm not going to keep turning my head because this is going to take long enough as it is. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? About two minutes. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We got one person. Okay. So I'm still just kneading some clay. This is an arduous process. I don't know what colors I'm going to use. I'd rather have too much clay than not enough. Let's see. That is a sound that my amazing pasta machine, courtesy of my BFF, sent to me. So the idea with conditioning clay is you need to activate the plasticizers, plasticizers, something like that, in the clay to make so it doesn't like you know crack and crumble inside of it. I'm gonna get a full start soon. Let's see. And if you're watching, please say hello or type it out. And I can say hello. So I got green. I got blue. I got a lot of black. I got white. I got ecru, which is like um, a khaki or cargo. Even like a craft brown. Maybe like a lighter craft brown. Hi, Michelle. Share my video. The more people watch it, the more nervous I'll get. The worse I'll do. Yay! I'm happy you're here. Okay, 
Oh my god, it's five o'clock. So officially the video has begun. Okay. Thank you everybody for joining me, clearly homemade, with the video for the dragon scale stemless wine glass. I have never done a dragon scale stemless wine glass before, so you guys get to experience it with me while I do it. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'm going to try to do one of these every Saturday. Uh, nothing. Nothing. It's actually just black clay. Let me explain everything here. Okay, so let me put this colors to the side for a bit. They've been relatively well conditioned. Um, the blue is giving me a problem, but I think it's because it's older clay. Um, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna deal with it. I'm gonna roll with it. Okay, so this is blue green Ecru white and black two ounces uh, Just over an ounce and about an, uh, an ounce of this. Hi, Lisa There we go put this here to the side. This is my tissue blade. So I use to cut things It's very sharp and part of it is off Okay, um rolling pin this is translucent. Can do some pretty cool effects. I haven't really tried it out yet. Not worried about that. Okay, so let's start with the glass. This is a stemless wine glass. I have pre-coated it in black because uh, this right here took me about an hour itself to make sure all the bubbles. Because if you look on the inside, there's still a few bubbles, but not it's not terrible. Um, also, as I have mentioned in the invent description, man, I just messed that up. That's fine. There's no mistakes in art. Um, as I mentioned, the reason why that there's a big gap right here, hi Royal, is you do not want your mouth on this, even after baked. I don't care anybody tells you. It's, it's just not a good idea. And I will actually be coating this with resin, uh, with an FDA compliant resin, which is what I used to use all the time. This is the box. I got it with a great freaking coupon. So we can actually put it right onto it after it's baked, after it's all said and done, and then it's once it's cured, um, then I will be able to wash it without any of the mica powder coming out. Um, incidental contact with skin is fine, so you can hold it in your hands. Uh, if you accidentally touch it with your mouth, you know, it's not terrible. You don't really want to use the polyacrylic um, and anything that's glassware, you want to be careful with that. So that's why the big gap is here. It should be enough for everybody to put the lips on also. If you want to be really fancy, um, you can get a decal put right there. And you'll still have about a half inch of room um, between your mouth. You want at least an inch. And in I like to do an inch and a half uh, just in case the resin should overlap. You know, the clay for a bit. Okay. Never done this before. Um, I did try a few different ways to do the scales. I think we're going to start with white first because it'll give us an idea of exactly what we're looking at. I have already pre kneaded all of these clays they are all ready um ready to go so they've already been i forgot the word right now because my brain just stopped which is you know fun when you're crafting so i have seen other glasses and a lot of times they'll have specific scales they'll put it like this um, another way to start is right here and then have the lip up like that have it down there like that the thing with me I honestly have no idea the best way to put the scales on, so we're just going to wing it, you know, like I usually do. Oh, and I left the bottom open um, just in case there's a little bit of unevenness. Also, in case you want to look into your glass, it'll be easier to clean it if it's not solid black. That's what I feel anyway. Uh, um, I wash everything by hand, so I feel like that would be the easiest. And also, if you don't worry about the bottom, you don't have to worry about clay there. And if you don't do it exactly even, you don't have to worry about things smushing around. It's just an overall easier. Okay. I For the scales, I did try a few different options. Um, I've had overlap. I'm going to show you with the white. I'm just going to smush it. I love it because this white is like perfect because when you, when you, um, con that's what's conditioned. When you conditioned it, it actually came out great. So we are just going to do overlapping like that, if you can see there. Maybe I'll just alternate in colors to make it easier to see. And you know I like mica powder in different colors. This is a really warm in my craft room right now. Okay, so we're going to start. And you should be able to see here. Great. It's not going to stand on its own. That'd be pretty. Actually, it does. Ta-da. Look at that. We're going to start from the top, and we're going to make our way down. We're going to do overlapping scales. Um, we can do scales that are tiny. You can do scales that are big. 
You can do scales that are all pre-cut and triangle. I don't want too much of a big glass. And yes, that is a bit of blue right there because, you know, honestly, it doesn't matter for me because um, I mica powder everything. Okay. So this is how I do the glasses on my dragon. And you're like, oh, well, it's just dots. You're right, it is just dots, but there's going to be a lot of dots. This is going to be a texture glass. I'm going to do a little bit there like that. You can see that right there. Do it like this. Okay. Okay. Either we can do that. I wonder if I can pull it off. Oh, I can. Great. That's fine. Or I think we might do. We can do the pre ones. Look like little balloons. Put it like that. I just don't want it too clumpy. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I like things a certain way. But you know what? It's it's whatever. I still don't know what color we're doing with either. Oh my god. See, now if you do this, right? Well, that's great. We have to do the whole thing around. And let's see what this looks like. Put this like, like that. It's a little heart. We'll have a bunch of little hearts everywhere. Let me get some of the e cream. Let me pull this one off. Put this to the side. And we can start off like this. Yeah, I like the teardrops better too. Um, it's going to be more obnoxious <laughs> to do, to be honest with you. But that's fine. You know, if it's not a million freaking dots, you know, it's something. You know, teardrop. See how that layers? Just like that. And that that is literally all dragon scale is, is just overlapping. I mean, if you look at, you know, like snake skin or an alligator, you know, and stuff like that. It's all going to be overlapping. Oh, that's hysterical. Ah! Lisa, you're special. <laughs> uh, welcome to the comments section. Good times here. Um, I am using my phone, so hopefully I'm seeing them in, in relatively real time. There we go. Okay, so if we're going to do it this way, you're going to need to do more overlapping. I don't like that. You can always take it off. It is warm in here. Um, I like to use, I like my craft term warm when I do clay. It makes the clay a little bit more malleable. It does not bake it or cure it, so it's not going to be a problem. I'll make them a little smaller. I don't usually do scales like this. My little balloons. Okay. It's not going to be the usual. I might change it for around the bottom. Well, so we, we can just alternate, you know? I've never done this. Let's just wing it. Hi, Shelly. Welcome to the fun club. I'm going to push you down. Okay, I'm going to make this a little smaller. Somebody in, another, in a polymer clay group that I'm in said, what about fingerprints? How do you make the fingerprints not show up? Funny story. Well, not funny story, not at all. I don't even know why I precluded with that, but... There's fingerprints in everything I do. Everything. I don't mind the fingerprints because I am putting the hand back into handmade. Know what I'm saying? With the fingerprints, it gives it a more realistic look, in my opinion. Because scales are not just right there. You know, they're not made of plastic. They are natural looking. We're going to do these a few more times. I'm not, I'm not really digging this. I'm really not. So I think we're going to just a few more teardrops. Okay. So why am I not doing, um, bottom to top? If I were to do it that way, I like, I, it's, it's all personal preference. It really is. So if you're doing top to bottom, let me bring this up closer. There we go. So you have top scale and then you're going to go down this way. If I were to do bottom, depending on the scale that I'm using, I can go like this way. You know, let's let's see what it looks like. Who knows? This this actually might look better. Um, I didn't know how to start this. Remember, first time we're here. Uh, let's see. So you're gonna have looks like vampires, vampire fangs. 
Let's do a layer of three. It is really, really warm in here. <laughs> I didn't realize how warm it was going to be. Very Florida. Okay, they're going to be a little awkward looking. And then, more e crew to separate the colors. And then it'll be like that. I wish I could probably just make them thinner. I don't like pre molded scales. I wasn't even sure about the teardrop either. That's no, not. We can just do it that way. Um, okay, so the main reason why I did it is I like the look of the top to bottom. I like having the scales uh, start and then and then go down for it. Also, um, if I had one of my bags here, which I don't, yes, I do. Take a look at my crochet bags. The scales are overlapping, and they start at the bottom. Well, I guess they are like that. Huh. Well, apparently I'm doing the opposite of the bag. Um, let's try it that way then. There's no wrong way to clay. There is no wrong way to clay. Unless you like the bottom. Okay. Um, yes, I make them. I make them and I sell them. They're dragon scale dice bags. There are lots and lots of fun to sell. <laughs> Not so much on the making. They're a lot of work. Okay. Let's do let's do it this way. Hey man, I'm always open for for ideas. Okay. We're gonna start from the bottom with the E crew. We'll put it on. I'm gonna make the scale smaller. And then we have to figure out what color we're doing this. Um, if we are unable to finish this in 45 minutes, then we will be doing this tomorrow at 4 p.m. Yes, yeah, so Michelle's saying top to bottom. Bottom to top wouldn't be bad either, but you have to do the scales upside down, I guess. I don't know, dude. Okay. You know what? I don't even like the teardrops. So you're going to do it this way. And I'm going to do varying colors. And then if I want to, after I do this, I can do it the other way. All of my dragons that I make, all of the scale that I make, are dots. All of them are dots. The scales are dots. Oh, no, not at all. The way you were suggesting, Lisa, is the same way that my crochet bag is. So that's not, not at all. I just want to do it this way. So we're doing this. You know what? How about this? How about next week we do the dragon scale stemless wine glass the other way? I'm going to have two different ways to do it. Okay, here we go. I'll put this down like that. There we go. And then I'm going to put dots around. I'm going to do, um, well, you know what, also, I have seen other people do these, and they all do the overlapping scale like that. Yeah, see, thank you, Lisa. I like the dots. Sorry, Michelle. Lisa may not read with us anymore, but she's still a, a valued contributing member. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, we are going to be reading tonight. It'll be fun times. I'm talking about World of Warcraft, for those who don't know. Good times. So you don't necessarily have to have a straight line uh, with the stemless wine glass. You can do loops. You can do whatever the heck you want. You don't even have to use clay. You can just use like acrylic paint. Oh, I'm not even in the camera. Look at that. Last night I did a quick um, live video. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you have choir. Oh, there you go. Um, so last night I did a quick live video and the way the camera was positioned is you saw the other side, uh, which means you saw nothing, but it was nice. You know, I am getting, I am getting that dragon done. I have, uh, the wings done uh, or rather the skeleton of the wings done, which is nice. And my dog is snoring. I'm not sure if you can hear her. She's really loud. And the background music that you hear 
is actually, um, we're gonna add some green though, because it's just to relieve the monotony of the colors. The background music you hear is from a video game that I do not own the rights to. I like to listen to music when I craft, but with this, I figured, look at that. The colors don't matter of the clay because of how I color it. There we go. A little bit of green. Besides, I think it's better for the camera. Not that you guys can see anything at all. I have noticed. At least not for the video that I'm looking at. Because I have the phone video, so I can comment, see the comments. And then I have the computer video, so I can actually see what I'm doing. I probably should put the computer in another spot. Then I still have to scroll. It doesn't automatically scroll for comments, which is silly. Okay. Oh, I love this the way this feels. We can be super crazy, and we can actually probably put a dragon eye on here. I do have one made. Right? Do a right there. Might be pretty cool. Really creepy, but really cool at the same time. Lots and lots of dots. I have been rolling dots all day. Much, much, much smaller than this. Um, it is kind of heavy now. Uh, if you wanted to knock somebody out, like a Robert, then you would hit them with one of these. And the clay will hold the glass in, so you don't have to worry about shattering in your hands. Um, it's clay. It's, I mean, when it comes to making stuff, I um I always help with what I'm making uh by you know incorporating cardboard and aluminum foil because of the weights. This, this will be a heavy glass. I mean also I had to do the layer of black. I mean this is a pretty heavy glass anyway for a stemless wine glass. I had to do the layer of clay first. If I didn't, you will see the individual scales on the inside and you would see the bubbles. And while that sounds great, it's really not. I mean, unless you want to see it. I mean, if you want to do it that way, then you can probably cut down the amount of, one, the amount of clay that you use, and two, you would um, cut down weight as well. Either way, it's fine. And when it comes to like decorative art, Weight is never, never occurred to me something, but this is, this is pretty heavy. <laughs> this is a, I consider this the defense against robbers. Let's see if we can, see so the blue didn't want to condition correctly. So we're doing a crew white and green. You might hear my child back there. We're going to alternate some different colors here. Hi, Aaron. Welcome to the claymation hour. So we may get this done. If not, we'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'll be here. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Look at that. We even have some accrue mixed with white. We have 40 minutes. I am not like those cooking shows where... I'll be like, oh, this is the pre-made item. Uh, let's see here. There we go. And we're going to do, with most of my dragon things, we have little dots on top, and then we're going to slowly, except for that spot right there, uh, become bigger dots. Which means I'm probably going to redo. No, it's going to stay. I am uh, I'm furiously sweating. It is Florida. It is no airflow in my craft room. Let's see. I gotta probably do a poll on um what you call it. What color we're doing this? There we go. Overlap. I know some folks who just do specific colors. They don't paint, they don't do anything like that. And I don't know. I don't know about that. That means you have to be careful with like your white, making sure that there's no schmutz on it. 
and it's, you know, no colors being mixed. I don't really get shimmer. I know a lot of people like the matte look to clay. I like me some shimmer. I like some glitter. Literally just thousands of dots. Nice and relaxing. I think one day I'm going to do a video where you can follow from home. Again, I'm using E-Crew. I'm probably not going to use the blue. I have green. I apparently have, there we go, black, white, E-Crew, and green. The colors only matter in so much on how the mica powder, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love how it feels already. Um, with how the mica powder is going to react to the base color. Let's see here. I think the reason why I go so big at the bottom, because I'm just tired of rolling these things. It's a lot of work. I'm going to be putting some equal right there. Let's go with some green. Roll and roll and roll. Oops. Okay, so if you're doing this, and you're clay and you smush it, and you see terrible sides, and the clay is not being conditioned correctly, even though I swear the clay was just conditioned. Hold on. Oops. My hands have been having a problem lately anyway. Doing a lot of clay work, a lot of rolling little balls. I do love this. I love doing this. I don't care how much it hurts. This is like my favorite thing to do. Crocheting hurts my elbows. And clay hurts my hands and arms. Hi, what are you doing in here? My spawn walked in. <laughs> Easy hiding. Yeah, he doesn't want to come out. It's okay. You can talk. Say hi. Hi. Oh, I like to mention now that my husband is here, um, so he knows that I am mentioning this. He went ahead and replaced the floor under the cabinet of my kitchen sink. Nobody can see you because it's up here. We're not going to. Here, give me your hands. <sighs> my child, folks. Okay, you can't. Okay, you have to look at that computer. You probably saw. He replaced the floor under my kitchen sink. And it was a lot of work, and he did it, and it looks beautiful. And I love it. What are you making? I'm making a dragon scale stainless wine glass. Please go with Daddy. Can you can you help me out here? I understand your one. Ask Daddy for some whipped cream. No. No, that's not going to work today? You want candy? Um, no. You said no. <gasps> Can you please go? This is hard for me to do. Please, buddy. Can you help me out? You know what? This is fine. It's not. <laughs> I'd rather have want him to cry. He's very loud. Thanks, dear. Thanks for trying. I know he's rough. Can you make sure the door stays open for me? Yeah. Thank you. It was very warm in here. There you go. He's hiding in my legs now. Okay, look at that. Great. Now I'm coming. Okay, you can't come out there though. That's that's not a good spot for you. Oh, you're not going with Daddy. <gasps> Where's Daddy going? Why don't you go see what Daddy's doing? Oh, he's just playing a game. He's just playing a game. What game is he playing? Mm. It's just a game. It's just a game. Guys, pick. Day two, Why don't you go to Daddy and tickle his feet? Oh, go ahead, go tickle his feet. That's yes, go tickle his feet. See, you just have to know what to say. He's tickling your feet, dear. It works. It works. I would shut the door, but then you would hear how loud my child is when he screams. No, keep tickling Daddy's feet. Come on, please. I pranked him. You pranked him? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess it's uh, how to do a stemless hey, clay wine glass. I put clay. Oh, so um, if any of you do clay, 
Um, I actually use it. Uh, so, okay. The polymer clay that I use, well, polymer clay in general, does not cure um, until it's baked. There's air dry clay, there's modeling clay that never cures, that is always reusable. And yeah, there's yeah. the stuff that I use. You know oh, that? that one's super, super, super tall. That is super tall. He's talking about the tripod. So I use um, extra bits of clay and I'm able to. Hold on a second. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on a second, please. To daddy, please. You're not supposed to touch. Go to daddy, please. He just went and he moved. Ask Daddy to go play in your room. Okay. There we go. Okay. So what I did is I used a bit of the clay and um, I stuck it under the bits of the tripod. And with doing that, it makes the tripod not move at all. There we go. How much time do we have? We have half an hour left and I barely have any of this done. It's going to take forever. This is not quick work. I actually thought I was going to get all the, the scales done, but nope. Well, the good news is, by it taking so long and not being like, you know, super, super fast being done, um, we can see if we're going to add an eye to it, you know, um, you know, because I have that eye just sitting there. We can decide what color we're going to do with it. I can put a pole up. And maybe I can finish this on my own. And then I can just show you how we're going to color it. Because adding the eyes is not going to be a problem. That's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. There we go. There's little dots, little dots up here. Happy little dots. Okay, now you can see the ridge. Just fine. Let's go. Okay, I did not own the rights to that music. That is a PJ Masks theme song. My spot, my child is addicted to PJ Masks. Which is a good time. Let's see what else. Honestly, I wish I could just montage this, like an '80s montage with terrible music. And then I'll just show you the end result instead. <laughs> right? I'm pretty cool. I would do all my crafts like that. I'm just pulling up little bits. I'm putting it. There, go. there is no pattern that I am interested in doing. Because um, then it would be a pattern. It would be art. It wouldn't be like naturally occurring scale. And I try to do a bit of a hypo-realism. Hyper realism, I should say, you know, which is completely contradicted by the crazy colors that I use. Oh, I do have red, like actual red. However, the red that I have is not shiny red. It is a matte red. There's no shimmer to it. It doesn't change colors in the sunlight. It is just straight red, which would be nice. If I wanted to do um, something with a matte color. Okay, now I look down here. The scales are getting, that's a little too big. The scales are getting bigger. Let's see. I'm hoping that I am going to have that dragon statue done. We're going to have a viewing party for that as well. Lighten edges in big trouble? Yeah, because he has to go to jail. He has to go to jail? Yeah. Oh, great. He's really bad. He's really bad? Yeah, Nine Ninja is really bad. Yeah, Nine is pretty bad. Mom, we're showing you windows. Okay, can you leave mine open? Because I don't get airflow in here. I was trying to fix yours. Okay. So you get airflow. That's hubs. Everybody. Say hi, Hubs. Hi, Hubs. Hi, Hubs. <laughs> you have a bunch of jokers in here. I don't have jokers in here. You are a joker. I'm not a joker. We have... Get my love. And that's why he is not a professional singer. Ah! 
make jokes. Here we go. Yes, I added a bit of black. Why? Because the darker it is, the more the mica powder reacts to it. I'm sorry, I'm trying to change how I sit. Oops, clay back here. Okay. Yeah, that's been Oh man, this feels so neat. So I've decided that if interested, all items made on live, unless already um, for somebody, are available for resale. Uh, except that dragon. I'm just kidding. Um, so if you want a wine glass, uh, you can choose whatever color you want. Just let me know. Otherwise, it'll be the color of my choosing. Unless I do that poll. And there he is. He is three and a half. And he is very loud. He's also the neatest kid in the world. Super polite. Um, when we're out in public, he is very sweet. Always asks if I'm okay. There go. Uh, it definitely has a weight to it. Figure I'm doing under there. Because it is so warm in here. I can't pull any of the scales off. If it was colder, then the scales wouldn't be able to come off and I'd be able to reposition them. Also, the different colors, you're going to see the mark on it. Put this down here and squish. And squish. No, I'm not putting, I'm not putting them up on Etsy. <laughs> no, I'm keeping them. I have discovered uh, what the issue is with him. So... You're going to be working on that more. Let's see. I wonder if one day I'll do an actual pattern. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get some, let's see if we can get some of this green in. We have about a quarter of the glass done. Well, almost half. You can do like a third, I guess. Yeah, about a third of the glass done already. And it's taking half an hour. <laughs> it takes, uh, this stuff is not quick work. Not quick at all. Okay, see, look at that. No really issues there. Oops. Put the green right there. I wish I could use the blue. The blue is being a poopy head. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Yes, yes. Back to the husband. He um replaced the entire flooring. I'm sorry. He okay, so when we moved into the house, we had an issue with the bottom under our kitchen sink. The floor, the wood was rotted. Not the original floor, but I guess what they put on top of it to make the cabinets and stuff. There's been a leak for who knows how long. And we had serious issues with like mildew and mold and stuff. So he was super awesome and he replaced the floor today. And now I have an additional three bits of cabin space remaining. Let's see. Look at that. It's pretty cool, huh? Put some black down here. I'm gonna make sure like all the dots, there's no like spots showing up. Okay. More whites. I'm happy I uh, worked these colors. I'm starting to cramp my hand. And with doing this, I don't actually have to do anything with my tools, which is nice. Yeah, it's handy dandy Billy. He is amazing. And it's so nice. And then I have, um, I'm going to be spraying some kills. Underneath. I was thinking about doing music, um, but I didn't know what to play because I don't listen to relaxing music. I don't, I don't like that. Oh, it's gonna be there forever. Yep, there it is. Okay. It's whatever. It's back there now. Ha! Huh? That's fine. That's fine. Remember, 
No accidents in art. Like this here. Here. Hey, dear. Can you uh, call my mom and tell her I'm doing a video? Or text her? Let's see, my mom wanted to watch. I send her a text message. But she's probably busy. Oh, there she is. Well, she messaged me. Let's see what we got. Oh, never mind, dear. My mom does not have the Facebook app on her phone, so she's unable to watch this. Okay. Oh, that sticks. She can watch the replay. She's not um, a big fan of the whole Facebook thing. I don't blame her. I have it because of all work. Well, my work. You know, yeah. stuff that I do here. I have to do find interesting things. And that's how I connect with like a lot of people. It's just really not going to work. Let's see what we got. I can get this. There we go. Let's see, look at that. It just cracks open. It means it's not conditioned right. All right, the reason why you don't you want to make sure it's conditioned correctly is um, you don't want it to break off in the oven. I kind of had that issue. I made a statue. It did not go as planned. How's that? Ah. So we're actually going to use a tool. This is, I call them the rollerball tools. Little rollerball. Cool. There you go. That's all I gotta do. Okay, right, so we're gonna do a lot of weight. Weight and acre. I have black, but you can't really see black. I mean, you can, but it looks like it's just a dot of black. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. There we go. My child has the best laugh. I'm sure all parents say the same thing. That my child has the best laugh. <laughs> there I go. Okay. There goes the Legos. My spawn's room is. Uh, I thought I cleaned it up. But I'm glad they're playing. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't paint. Well. I'm not a very good painter. I use mica powder with a brush, with an eye brush, with an eyeshadow brush. And that is what I do with painting. Yeah, the colors on here are only important in so much with how the mica powder reacts. We have. Oh, I'm here, I'm clumping on the floor. See? Look at that. Yeah, Legos are great on the floor because you know picking them up, it's so much fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. I don't know what the two of them are doing, but they're laughing. Now that's all that matters to me. We're gonna add some E crew, and then we're gonna start with a green again. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you real quickly. Oh, Michelle, you gotta see this red. Now, don't forget, Michelle's the one who wanted the red. So let me just sit this here. Between these, like that. Pop it up. See, clay on clay. Okay. I can get this to open. Oh, it's upside down. She put the tag on upside down. Okay, the clay, the one I originally ordered from her, so like that it's orange, right? No such thing as red. What do we have here? Oh, we got paintbrushes. I'm going to do a little bit of red just to see. Look at that. Actual red. There we go. Uh, this way. Ah, there we go. See, look. Actual red. Red orange. Okay, so that's what I mean by painting. I use mica powder, and I, you know, dab it on. And I don't, I don't have like a gram of this. But I will not be doing this color. But it's okay that it's there because I can just brush over something else. 
Let's see. And then put on the dark color and it becomes dark red. That's why I don't have my colors mixed. Whatever. Let me look at it here. You can already tell that it's already mixed with some colors, actually. Look over here. Put some dots. There we go. I need a small dot. This is fine. There we go. And I put a dot there. Dot, dot. Oops. Oh, the worst part about doing this. Yes, I have dots of clay because they like to roll off my hand as you just saw. There we go. More dots. Okay. Love how this stuff turns out. But I really am thinking about putting an eye on here. Maybe. But this is definitely going to be um, a textured glass. Well, all my skills are texture. That's why it takes so long. Which is which is fine, you know, whatever. Um, but this is definitely you run a hand on it, you're gonna get the scale feel to it. I think it's worth the time to do this, which is why I really don't mind doing it. Oh, my phone's vibrating. Okay, do this color. We're gonna have it's not gonna be as textured. I mean, it is, but. It's warm. It's maybe a little too warm for this, which is why you're seeing so many fingerprints. You probably can't, but they're right there. Oh my back! Getting so old. This is a leaf from our table. Okay, now it looks like I'm doing a pattern here. But the neat thing is, if you add a little bit more. Okay. It will not be a pattern anymore. Put this right there. Get some white. Get up here. I'm pretty awesome if I had pre made dots. Now I'll take the fun out of it, you know? The placement would be, you know, chaotic, but the creation almost halfway through. It's awesome. Um, the placement would be chaotic, but the full creation would still be, you know, manufactured. And that's I don't like the manufactured. I like I like doing it. It's a lot of work. It hurts, but still, it really means that. I did it, and I think that's more important than anything else. I just keep the glass for myself. But you know, if it takes them two hours, you know, to do the scales, and then what? An hour to to mica. Remember, two two plus hours to do that book. Um, this one's gonna be a little different. You have to mica first. I'm probably gonna put it on a stand. So I'm not touching it too much, especially if I want to get like specific colors. I gotta figure out what we're doing. Yes, that's true. Every handmade piece is an act of love. And defiance against my body. Because it doesn't want me to do it. It doesn't want me to roll it. Pieces. Nope. But I like clay. I like clay, I think, more than any medium that I've used before. There's there's something relaxing about it, you know. I'm I'm amazed with how my stuff comes out. Every time I make one of those Dragon Eye books, I mean, I may only made three, but all three of them are freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. <sighs> um, we're going to have... We're probably going to have to do a midweek live to finish this up. We're going to have to see. I'm not sure. Oh God. Okay, and you don't want to roll it too much because if you start rolling it around, you're gonna start losing that definition. And I mean, you can go with a tool and then you know perk it back up. It's not the same. I have tried, I have tried and tried, but it's not the same as individually placing. 
And I know there's a lot of gaps, but that's fine. Because I can use that green to do the gaps. Now I know my child said he thinks that the dragon statue should be a rainbow dragon. So I'm going to have to get red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Indigo and violet too. Yes, I totally was quoting a song. Um, and see if I can do that somehow. And then I got to figure out how I'm doing the wings. I, I literally am just, just placing dots. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. I have to think about other projects that I have. And I have wine bottles. Um, and I think one will look really cool with a reptile wrapped around it, maybe a snake. I used to own snakes. I had, um, let's see, I had ball pythons. I had a ball python and I had a boa constrictor. I loved them. I miss them. Hubs is terrified of snakes. We will not be having snakes in this house. If you're ever doing this and your clay gets too squishy, kind of almost how it is right now, you can throw it in the freezer. I have never done that. Probably should but I have not. You can throw your pieces in the, in the freezer just to get them to cool down a bit. I think I'm going to hold it like this if I can. So I'm not touching the clay so much so we're still keeping that dot dot look. Let's see. There. And of course, if you're interested, you know I love custom orders. They're like my favorite. Um, and you would like to see it done on the live video. I will gladly do it. You can choose music. You can choose whatever style you want. It can be a glass. It can be a statue. But you can see a whole creation. Your creation from start to finish. And that would be the coolest thing in the world for me. Absolute neatest has to do that. Okay, I mean, I send pictures, but pictures are one thing. Videos are something else. Actually, what I could do, if you don't want to do a live video, is I can video the whole process, which Michelle has suggested. I can video the whole process and then send it to you, edited and done quickly. I would do the speed up thing. That, you know, 80s montage I was talking about. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go back to the little dots. Sometimes I need to do a little bit. There we go. Look at that. That is so neat. Oh. What time is it? Oh, oh, we got 12 minutes. I might go over by 10. I know I said an hour, but I might go over by 10 minutes just to see if I can do, it's not going to finish it, never mind, 10 minutes won't matter. And I, I am going as fast as my little hands can go. This is not a quick process, but I will not finish this. I will put a poll in the group and I can finish it and then have a live video on color. You guys can watch the whole thing. So just keep an eye out in the group what you want to do. But this is, this is how I do all my scales. Now you guys can say, hey, listen, I know how she does her scales. It is literally a dot at a time. Figuratively a dot at a time as well. Figuratively dotting it. I'm just kidding. I don't have a problem. I'm only going to do an hour. I got 10 minutes. You can always watch it, you know. Okay, well, I'm going to put a poll because I can leave it for a week. It's it's not that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We'll see. I like the Saturday. I might do impromptu lives on Friday nights. You know, just like hang out with me while like, I do something. And then do event ones on Saturdays. Not very long, you know, half hour Fridays, hour Saturday. Just to so you guys can see what it's like. 
It's not simply a slap dash, throw it away, or throw it together, and we're done. Okay, here we go. And again, if you want a custom order, please let me know. Yes, it will take forever <laughs> for it to do. Because this is this is it. I mean, the statue is, is just... Oh, man. I've had to redo that thing a few times. But the head. The head looks great. Well, it's looking at me right now being like, why aren't you working on me? Yeah. My hands are cramping up already. Look at that. You know what? We're actually getting pretty good time. We're uh, halfway done, which is nice. But we're going to see... we got 10 minutes. I mean, I could skimp, you know. Oh, man. I think... Let me adjust my this chair. So this chair came to the house. Oh, there we go. And... It likes to slowly drop. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, it's all over. I think I'm going to do maybe a pink, maybe blue. I was thinking the gold. I'm not sure. I might keep this for myself, you know, because I don't really make anything for myself. I mean, you'll see the rare piece, like the coffee cabinet. But it's not often. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I am not a perfectionist. Okay? Not at all. I can't be. I'm too lazy for that. However, I do like things a certain way. And it needs to be that certain way for me to be able to handle it. And I have a little bit of OCD. Which is crazy. Not, not extreme. I'm not diagnosed with it for those who suffer from ocd i am so sorry like i can't even imagine what life would be like with true ocd not the made-up stuff that everybody says they have like that's that's rough look at that you can tell i'm getting a little lazy here now i think that the dots are up there but it's okay you want to why because it's arts you're allowed to let's do some white A little bit of dots. I think it's coming along nicely. I like this. This is a nice, easy. This is a dragon scale stemless wine glass. It's a neat, not easy way to get a, a gift, which is fun. But it's unique. No two will be the same. It's not possible. I mean, I can't. I can't do it. Um, the issue that I have with doing the dragon statue or any statues is you need to have two sides look the same. And I am unable to do so. Listen, you cannot duplicate perfection. Am I right? <laughs> now, my eye, the eyes are similar. And I know with eyebrows, they're supposed to be like cousins or sisters. Like most of the body parts, you're not supposed to be equal on both sides. They are. It's fake. Like getting eyebrows done and stuff. We got, we got six minutes. I'm trying, Lynx. I'm trying to get this done. You can see... Right there, I just want to be a pain in the butt. You can tell though it's really warm because of how much light's on my finger. Oh, and so you see the smears here and stuff like that. Um, all glasses get washed before sale. I use uh, Dawn or I use an antibacterial hand soap to wash everything. But there will be prints as you work on it. Get some teeny ones in here. There we go. Look at that. Look how much we have left. That's it. It's fantastic. There we go. Let's 
So I'm probably going to have to sit. I'm going to put somewhere probably cooler. Five minutes. You tell my fingers aren't really wanting to work the way they're supposed to. So healing the reed tonight is going to be terrible. Let me just at least. Uh oh, looks like I'm doing a pattern again. Can't do that. Lot of fingerprints. Very warm clay. So at least I know how much I'm going to need. Which is nice. So I need, what is it? About two ounces of each, just four ounces. And then an ounce for the base color. That's how much clay I would need to do one of these glasses. So let's see, four, five, so there's six dollars a piece, 12, 13 dollars in materials, not including the glass. And obviously not including the time. So if I can do this, probably do the whole thing in two hours, start to finish, um, just for the creating. That's not including the resin. That is not including um, the baking, because this goes in the oven for about three hours, um, only because of how thick it is. I prefer to do longer than shorter. Can't really overbake it. But you can mess up the temperature and stuff. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to break up the monotony of the dots. Put it here. Now, the difference between doing this and, for instance, like a paintbrush or something, right, is when you do the dots on a paintbrush, it doesn't smush the other dots. Unless you're doing everything wet and then you have a chance of smearing and stuff. So I thought about doing it that way, and I thought it'd be pretty cool. But I realized that would not work as well. Look at that. Holy cow. I'm really moving now. Man, I kind of want to get this done. Sorry, Lisa. I really want to get this done, like, really bad. Because <laughs> there's so little left to go. And I, I'm, I'm hoofing it. As much as my little body can go. I don't want it to be sloppy. There's a difference between chaos and sloppy. So I am going to be doing this video until this is done. I should have done this fast in the beginning. We're getting towards the end. You can always watch it. You know, it's the nice part about videos. I gotta see if I can put these up on YouTube too. Because I do have a YouTube channel. Oh, and folks, I do have um, a Tumblr. Uh, I do have a Twitter account. So a Tumblr account, Twitter. And I do have Instagram. And I have Pinterest. And if it's on Instagram, it's on Tumblr. And it's on Pinterest as well. And it's on the Facebook page. Clearly homemade. Facebook.com slash clearly homemade. It's like backslash. Okay. Technically the video ends in two minutes, but we are going to continue. We're going to push through it. And we're going to get this bad boy dotted up. Complete with all the extras. But we're not doing the coloring tonight. Not at all. It's not... I mean, I would, but that's a two-hour video right there. I have to do the poll for color since this is a, uh, a public glass versus just me making it. There we go. So how much does something like this sell? Um, let's see. I got $13 in clay. However much the glass is. Uh, you have, let's see, maybe three dollars in resin, and then all the other, oops, wrong size. It goes down here. Like, see, so you can move a little bit. Not a lot. 
Oh, the air conditioning from Bruce's room is, is coming through. There we go. Okay, officially our video is over. But stay tuned. I am finished the dots. Dot, dot, finish the dots. Five million dollars. That's great. Um, I would probably do 30. Um, let's see. 30 for time. That's just two hours of time. And then I like to do $15 an hour. It might as well be reasonable with how much I should pay myself. We'd have to see. We have to see what it'll look like afterwards, if there's anything extra. But I would say probably a glass like this is $45. The wooden box. Okay, so the yeah, the whole wooden box is $120. Because I paint the box, um, felt it, stuff like that. And that is so many hours of work. I mean, I don't even make minimum wage. That's 120 for a box. Um, just the dragon art itself without a box is $100. I know it's $20, $20 for a box. Should be more, but I'm okay. Um... And then, so this would be like, like $40, $45, depending on the coloring that you want. You know, if you want crazy colors, you're going to get crazy prices. That's pretty reasonable. Handmade. And if you do it on video, probably like another $10 for the video itself. I really have no idea. I've never done video editing. But I try not to be unreasonable with my prices. Oh, so the time, okay. The time that you're seeing is not the kneading of the clay, you know, or anything like that. So this here is already pre-kneaded clay um, to make sure we are able to use it. It's preconditioned clay. Michelle, if it was $5 million, all my bills would be paid off. I would have a sublimation machine. That'd be awesome. I don't want it. I don't want sublimation anymore. I just want heat press. <laughs> That's what I want. I'm going to not have to press down on my iron so hard. I might be making shirts, folks. I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to find um, a different way to do things. Something that's more me. Oh, man, look at this. Can't wait to see what it looks like at the end. Dots under here too. Look, look, look! This is the official dot that connects it all. Whoop, whoop! And the best part is we don't have to throw it in the fire. Like a one ring to rule them all. Yeah, that's true. I would pay all your bills. I'd buy. I pay off your house. I would buy you a house next to me. You know. I'm almost done, dear. I just want to get the whole thing finished up. See, folks, I have an understanding husband, and he's amazing, and I love him very much, not just because he officially checked something off the honeydew list, but he's a genuinely nice guy. We're not a perfect relationship by any means, but we are a happy one for the most part. The reason why we don't have a lot of stairs. I'm just kidding. I don't make special abuse jokes are not funny at all. If you're suffering from abuse, um, message me. I will be um, more than happy to find you a hotline number for you to call and get help. If you're suffering from depression, also message me. I suffer from depression myself. And I will gladly help you find somebody to help you out or give you an ear to, uh, to you know, talk to. I will be your support group. We're going to push this over here. Man, Michelle, this is going to be an amazing glass when I'm done. After wash, Bubba. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm on video. <laughs> Bathing habits. Fantastic. Here at Clearly Homemade, we're, we're clearly home. <laughs> oh, it's not the worst thing. But thank you for, what do you think? Neat, huh? Awesome. I like to think so. Uh, it is still not too late to order uh, Easter. 
by the way. Yeah, don't talk to Michelle. She's she is my best friend. You guys can't have her. I don't want to share. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Oh, why don't you just share with him so I can finish the glass? Okay. Apparently that's a no. See? Not perfect. We love each other. We try to work with each other as much as we can. You know, two individual people. Doing what they can. Work. Okay. I think next time I'm just going to try to speed up the whole process. Man, it's going to look so neat. I kind of want to do the coloring now. Ah. Yeah, Billy has, um, he's selling his magic cards. He's getting D&D &D stuff, is what he said. So hopefully we'll have like a D&D &D campaign going on, which would be really neat. And I am working on stuff. Specifically rated to Dungeons and Dragons. I'm really excited with how that clay is coming out. And no, I'm not giving anybody a sneak preview of that one. No way. Like, that's going to be a full surprise when it's all said and done. I'm really excited. Michelle, I cannot see that photo that you sent. I want to get this done. Okay, here we go. Oh, if anybody needs any um, unique products uh, for mascara, eye care, face care, I think they do hair too, uh, message Michelle. She is a um, supplier of unique, and she'll be glad to help you out. There you go, Michelle. i give you a shout out. Let's see here. Look at that. We're almost done, folks. And then I'm going to go around the other side, probably with the green, and do the little dots. I don't want to squish too much. There we go. I'm really upset about the blue. I think it would have been really neat looking just for the base. Okay, there we go. Oh. See, look at that. You can tell that you're Russian. Here, let me move. I got to get my tool. This one works. Get these off. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see that. Omelette is her chicken. <laughs> she has, she has raised it since literally from hatching. It's her hatchable. Okay. Hopefully, you can't hear him yelling. If you do not yell at your children, I don't know what is wrong with you. <laughs> like, uh, I was always like, yeah, I'm not going to yell at my kids. And then I had one. And uh, I was a perfect parent until I became one. Isn't that how that goes? Let's see here. My child is not a handful. Um, from what I've seen. Look at this. Look, 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 last two dots. I got a dot there. And this is not 100% done. But that is the last. Oh, look at that. Okay, now. Now it's the fun stuff. I'm just kidding. Let's see if I can get this conditioned better. Is she really that big? Holy cow. Okay, we're going to use whites. Okay, we're going to look around and find where the dots are. These little dots. Anywhere that has a divot that doesn't look like it's sitting right. I mean, we're not going to get all of them. Then that wouldn't be very normal looking or natural. Man, you guys got to feel this glass. One of a kind. Dragon skull glass. We're going to fill up the ends. I want to stay on the black because remember, we don't want to have that. Weird. Here we go. Press it. There we go. And it presses it down better. Okay. Yeah, that's a word for it. <laughs> Let's see. 
When you're as old as I am, you're a little set in your ways. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that spot almost fell through the cracks. That's why you go. Boom. See, this is why I didn't do a teardrop. You know what? I bet you I could do this whole glass in an hour for um, clay. So we didn't know how we were doing it in the beginning, but now we know that I will always do scales this way and I will never ever not do it this way. Watch in like two days. Oh, I found a new way. That's fine. That's fine. Remember, it's art. You're allowed to do what you want with art. Okay, good. Now, when you get to the bottom, go like this. Make sure that it does not have any issue. Probably smush it around. Okay, it is a little smush, but that's fine. You want to make sure that the glass is not going to have any issue sitting on a table. That's huge. Um, I have made mistakes with positioning of things. And while it looked great, it was not usable, which is terrible. I do have a toothless box that I made that looks not terrible. And you can't open it. You can, but it doesn't stay open and it's just not sitting right. Okay. I cheated on that one. Here we go. Look at that, folks. About an hour to clay a glass, not including conditioning of clay apparently bruce is packing up maybe it's i have no idea what he's talking about that's fine i'll find out later okay so glass start to finish modeled color i'm sad that the green didn't work out because that would be pretty cool looking with how it works with mica powder that is not a dot that's a bit of blue um so one hour one hour to do just the dots it doesn't include conditioning the clay so it's usable and it does not include the wrapping of the black on the inside so it gives a more uniform look to it. It looks pretty cool though. I wish you guys could feel this. So what I'm going to do um, as soon as the live video is over, I'm going to put a poll up. Uh, we're going to find out the best day to do this. Blue. You know, I was thinking blue. We're going to find the best day to do this and we're going to figure out what color. Um, but what color blue? Like I got... I have lots of blue. I'm going to tell you what colors I have. And then we're going to see from there. And then that's it. So everybody, thank you very much for joining me in this edition. The very first edition of Let's Do Polymer Clay. I got to figure out a title for it. Look at that. I'm going to make sure, you know, all the clay is over the black. There we go. One more time. This is it stemless wine glass and dragon scale and my dragon scale it does not look like much now but i promise you as we have seen before mica powder would be awesome but blue we'll discuss this we'll discuss this in that poll i'll see what colors i have and then we'll go from there i don't like that hold on wait wait one last thing i'm gonna put one right there and we'll go bloop just like that oh, i think we're getting happy meals hold on this color here and then there we go there Voila. okay so thank you very much everybody for being part of the clearly homemade family look out for that poll look out for the next event invite um i'm gonna try to do in one second buddy i'm gonna try to do um the impromptu fridays uh for about half an hour I'm probably gonna do around eight nine o'clock at night uh eastern standard time i won't do events for that it'll literally just be impromptu um i'm not either well i do like wine um but we're not talking about it hold on um distracting me so we're going to do uh every saturday for an hour we're going to be do a let's polymer clay i like that and then i'll be making something and i would love for you guys to follow along you know any questions you have and stuff like that i will gladly help out as much as i can uh or i'll just make stuff and you guys can you know hang out with me and then so fridays impromptu saturdays are the events look out for them of course if you want something custom let me know i would love to do a video about it or just honestly make something for you i love making your creations come through. so again thank you very much for becoming part of the whole clearly homemade family and for joining us here i look forward to creating with you have a nice night